Hi Taurus, in today's reading we'll be looking at who you'll end up with, who is the one for you. So we have strong uh, repeating signs. We have Aquarius in this person's energy. We have Aquarius here three times, twice in their personality and we have Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. We have Leo here describing who they are. And you made your presence known strongly in Scorpio's reading and Aquarius reading. Either this person is an Aquarius, um, it can be sun, moon, rising. They just may have some strong 11th house placements, you know? Wow, I really had to dig in this reading because it's almost the cards didn't want to reveal anything. But let's work our way through this. Who they are, we have North Node, Uranus, Leo, Nine of Cups, the Star, Four of Cups. I'm getting this is someone who's either famous or they're well-known, popular, perhaps on social media for some of you. Yeah, they're just some sort of leader. They get a lot of attention. People put this person on a pedestal. Very independent. This person doesn't need anyone. And they may be afraid of commitment or resistant here to commitment. They won't settle in love is what I'm getting, Taurus. So unless they're in love, they will not engage. I mean, they may have flings or relationships here and there, you know, but they won't full on commit unless they're emotionally invested. Um, what else am I seeing here? This person is very focused and likely they are quite successful when it comes to what they do for a living. Some of you, they do something that's quite eccentric for a living, something more creative, perhaps fine arts, social media, something. They can be performers of some sort with Leo and the star, but they're well known for some sort of creative talent they have is what I'm getting. They're quite unpredictable. Yeah, they can be. But there's something quite unique, either about what they do for a living or the way they carry themselves. They're different. It can be with the way they look here as well, you know? Um, their dressing sense some or some, you know, distinct facial features. Something about this person will stand out to you in a good way. But yeah, they're very emotionally independent and they don't need anyone. And they're quite happy with their own uh, company. They're happy within themselves. An issue you may have, this person's very stubborn with the Four of Cups, the Star, and Leo. Because we had Uranus, which is Aquarius, and then we have the Star, which is Aquarius, and Leo. Well, we actually only have two signs, but it is emphasizing their stubbornness, so there may be clashes there. But I don't see any major challenges. Sometimes there may be, because you both will be fixed in your ways. But yeah, confident, self-reliant, very independent energy, but can be moody and emotionally detached at times. So you may wonder, do you even need me, right? Or you may be wanting more attention from them, but they're sort of doing their own thing. But there's nothing to worry about. They may need their alone time, but they're quite loyal. They'll be loyal to you. But just sometimes they can be distracted. This person's a genius. They're very intelligent, I'm getting. And quite creative. Hmm, that is what I'm getting for their personality. How you'll meet. This is where it got a bit confusing. <laughs> because these cards don't want to reveal anything. How you'll meet, we have conjunction and the numinous. Which is mystery. And we have high priestess, the hermit. The best I can do here is, or if I look at the rest of the spread, what I'm getting is, you may meet through work, some sort of work association. The gym, high pre uh, hermit, is Virgo, which rules our sixth house. So yeah, it can be something to do with your health, um, running errands, but work is coming through. Number 33. We have water under water under the bridge, forgiveness. Yeah, 44, promotion, new business or job recognition. Express your truth through writing. Yeah, some of you I'm getting that typewriter. Typewriter it can be at work, right? Because we have the she's typing here, and then we have the computer screen and the mouse there. Yeah, this is a job through work, and but 
it is highlighting the need to forgive something water under the bridge forgiveness you're healing from something perhaps which is why your energy may be both hermit and high priestess are very withdrawn but they're quite in tune uh, with their intuition their feelings so you may already have a feeling how you'll meet this person is what i'm getting for when we have taurus jupiter seven of pentacles four of swords this isn't giving me much either. Well, Taurus season, and we have number four with the Four of Swords, so it can be May, but we have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. But it's sort of highlighting the need to be patient and divine timing, right? Both Seven of Pentacles and Four of Swords talks about healing, but it's also someone waiting patiently. I did dig deeper, so we have next year, July, which we have seven of pentacles, which is seven, which is also July. We have new love, new person. So a lot of you have no idea who this person is. You don't know who this is. And then others of you, we have this year, June, short distance travels, October. Some of you are meeting this person this year in October. And others of you next year, July or June will be significant. That is what I have for you. But it is a new person for a lot of you. You have no idea who they are. And they're not far from you, but there may be some travel involved here. I did not do that for other signs, but I wasn't getting anything <laughs> with your tarot. It literally just says focus on yourself and your healing and a divine timing at play. <laughs> okay. Where you'll be when you meet this person, what is your energy? We have Mars, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands. This is all fire for where you'll be. So you can be traveling. You have a lot of energy. You're so excited. Um, you have so many plans for the future, right? Two of Wands is making plans. So you may be making plans to travel somewhere. Um, you're making plans to go to an event, but you're very enthusiastic and energetic. Um, when you meet this person and some of you are very busy here as well clarify this eight of wands for Taurus yeah you may be starting a new job here or you may be the one hiring this person right I don't know but you're making decisions in your life with justice that's sort of it's also weighing the pros and cons of doing something two of wands Maybe you thinking, it can be simple as you wondering or thinking whether you should, you know, you get an invite and you're thinking, should I go, should I not? But it's also a busy period for you, I'm getting. A lot of pa plans and um, planning and strategizing is sort of where you're at, but you're in a good space. Um, you're very excited for some reason, so I'm assuming that things are going well in your life. Your first impression of them, seventh house, cancer, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Very sensitive, I'm getting, with the Seventh House in Cancer. That's Moon and Venus. So you'll be attracted to them. You will, but they're, they're coming through as a bit distant. Yeah, that aloof energy I was getting. Some of you may meet them when they're going through a difficult time. They may be lost or something with the Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. That is another possibility. They may ask you for direction with the page of wands. But there will be that chemistry there. This person will be your type. Seventh out of Venus. There will be love. Instant liking for this person. Right? You see how he's looking back and the cat's calling him? There's some level of intrigue. Wanting to get to know. Right? That is sort of your first impression. But they're very gentle, sweet, kind, loving. That is your first impression. I don't know though, they're coming through as a bit emotionally clocked out. <laughs> so I'm more so getting your first impression is that you like them, but they're coming through as sort of in their own world. But they will be flirting with you. Like, hey beautiful, something like that. Page of Wands is back and forth flirting, but not the most emotional communication here. Especially if it's work, that makes sense, right? Their first impression of you, we have Virgo, 8th house, 3 of pentacles, the fool, king of wands, ooh. Your first impression is the page of wands, and their first impression of you, king of wands. There may be an age difference here, but this person will look up to you in some way. Some of you are in a position of authority, and you're a boss. 
This person may be working under you, something. But they'll see you as very carefree, adventurous, very sexy. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. A little hard working with the Virgo and Three of Pentacles. Yeah, if you are meeting in some sort of group setting here, right? Even if it's the gym or work. Yeah, they see you as someone who's quite hard working, disciplined, but very charismatic with the eighth house, that Scorpio energy. Very drawn to you. Like a moth drawn to a flame. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. The chemistry will be off the charts. This is lust at first sight. Do I'm getting love at first sight? For them, I'm getting lust at first sight. They'll respect you here, Taurus, is what I'm getting. They'll love your sense of humor. I'm getting almost a duality here for how they're viewing you because one part of you is a bit, you know, very work focused, no nonsense. And then there's another side of you that's more passionate and, and ready for adventure, right? Um, sort of that introvert, extrovert vibe. So they may be seeing different sides of you in this first meeting, but they'll be quite impressed with you, your work, what you stand for. Yeah, they'll see us quite confident and sexually alluring is their first impression. What kind of relationship you'll have? We have Neptune, Moon, Libra, the Lovers, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Six of Cups. You're the most mushy couple I've seen so far. And I have two signs left to film, Virgo and Capricorn. Very sweet. It's almost two lovebirds with the lovers. But yeah, Neptune, Moon, quite romantic sort of seeing each other with rose-colored glasses a fantasy here especially when it comes to the intimacy intimacy is on point there's a lot of harmony balance you both work well together but there's a lot of excitement and forward movement when you meet moon and libra is sort of not wanting to rock the boat too often with one another you're both just yeah look at that soulmate energy six of cups very sweet gentle tender with one another that's beautiful i think your relationship will be beautiful there's a strong emotional physical intellectual bond here you have it all right we have fire air water what are we missing we're missing earth here right we're missing earth but you have a lot of earth everywhere else here you have lovers and six of cups for what kind of relationship you'll have. Yeah, a lot of lust, passion here. Devil and the lovers. Someone may have to travel. Um, yeah, look at that. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. I don't think I have much to say about that. It's a really happy relationship. They're very fulfilling to the both of you with ten of cups especially physically here i'm getting okay for your animal spirits we have horse and camel i'm not surprised with the horse with all this freedom loving energy right but let's see camel so this is fire energy we have resourceful independent knows oneself yeah i'm getting that the camel can handle absolutely anything, as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. This wondrous creature is self-reliant and handles challenge with ease. Don't you love when there's synchronicities? Even in the faces of excess heat, judgment or anger, judgment or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool elixir of water to calm the situation. Yeah, so this person is very peaceful, right? With the nine of cups, it's almost she's in like meditation or trance the camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance fire and water and being responsible for one's own reactions the camel is a wonderful traveler and especially fond of trips to faraway lands okay this person may like traveling maybe you meet while traveling as well because you were planning some sort of travel here when in balance calm content sparkle in eye when out of balance, dehydrated, lacks vitality. They're in balance. They're calm, content, and sparkle in eye. And do you see like the stars? <laughs> I'm getting that sparkle energy. Horse is earth. So there may be some possessiveness here. 
but they're not the jealous possessive type Taurus they'll give you your freedom where is horse horse is hiding away I'll find it though oh yeah horse momentum freedom expansive energy and force the horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum, so reliable, so supportive that you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the train. Yeah, this person doesn't give up easily. They're quite persistent. They cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice, physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus. Meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy when in balance achieves anything achieves anything never gives up when out of balance runs away feels weak they're they're embodying both the in balance and out of balance because they can run away feels weak four of cups but they're also when in balance achieves anything never gives up i love your person probably my favorite I actually really liked uh, Scorpio's person, and I really like your person. Something very, you know, larger than life about this person. It's so weird because my my dad is a Taurus, and he's married to an Aquarius, my mom. And we have a strong Aquarius and Taurus here. And then my brother is an Aquarius and his girlfriend is a Taurus. I'm not sure how that combination works. And with, with my mom and dad, it works. Um, somehow. Hygienic. So yeah, very clean, tidy, indecisive, more moodiness I'm getting than indecisive, but passionate. Passionate lover, sensual, ooh, and healthy. Yeah, this person's um, quite fit I'm getting. Getting a tall, slender appearance with Leo and Aquarius energy. Stubborn, I mentioned this, right? With the fixed signs. Gloomy, yeah. This gloomy, indecisive is this Four of Cups. Ooh, sexual and adaptable. We have passionate, sensual, and sexual. Attractive. Oh, sensitive. And they're forgiving, so they don't hold a grudge for too long. Some of you, this person's a different culture or race. For your advice, we have quiet reflection, which is interesting because when you'll meet, we have four of swords. Take time to meditate and go within. Still your mind and listen closely to what you hear. Trust your inner voice, it is sending you a message. And we had that with the high priestess and the hermit here. A lot of self-reflection, right? Perhaps you're getting some guidance in regards to this person. But do you see how she's looking into the crystal ball and she has the tarot cards here? I think you're quite intuitive, spiritual yourself. And your guides may be wanting to communicate with you. Prosperity. Prosperity is usually associated with wealth, but you can prosper in many ways. Great health, more time, loving relationships. Your life is flourishing. If you don't feel that way, perhaps that is where you're headed. And then it's telling you to focus on yourself, your emotional, mental, physical health. But yes, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.